Y'all, we finna go ahead and jump into these messages. We're gonna do some random messages. Whatever come out, come out, okay? Whatever pop out, come out. Um, this is gonna be for the next seven days, family. So only take the parts of this reading that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. This could be something that you're currently going through. This could be something that you done went through, okay? Sometimes people don't understand tarot. They be like, oh man, that's the same thing she told me last time. That means that a timeline is needing to play out in your life. Something haven't played all the way out yet, okay? But I'm really going to be tapping in for the next seven days to see what spirit is wanting for us to know. Um, family, I love y'all so much. And I thank all of you guys for being there for me, for sending me your condolences, your love, your wishes, all of that. Thank you guys so much just for being there for me. I'm so used to being there for everybody. Like I said, you know, sometimes I just, I don't know, y'all. Sometimes I feel like I don't have that type of support. But y'all really came through with the come through, for real, for real. And I just want to give my thanks to you guys and my gratitude, for real, for real. But y'all, we finna go ahead and jump into this reading, okay? Let's see what our angels and our spirit guides want us to know. God, please give us some good news for this next seven days. <laughs> we only want truth and clarity, but it would be really nice if we got some really good news these next seven days, Father God, Holy Spirit. Okay. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Heavenly Father, God, Mother, God, angels and ancestors of the most purest white light, show me what I need to see for my collective. What do they need to know for the next seven days? Only deliver truth and clarity at this time. We block out any low vibrational frequencies, deities, psychic attacks, or curses. I place the white light of protection around me at this time. Show me what I need to see for my beautiful collective. Show me what I need to see. What's the energy around the collective, the my Holy Spirit, from now until the next seven days? What's the energy around the collective? Okay, we got denial. Spirit, what's the energy around the collective? We also got honesty. And we got imagination. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we got success. So, family, um, for some of my collective, you could be still going through some type of denial at this time. Okay, or you're being denied something at this time. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I'm getting the energy of, like, trying and trying and trying. And maybe nothing is happening there could be something that you're working on or something you're trying to build or grow, um, something you're trying to manifest right now, but it could be some type of roadblock that's in the way at this time. Um, I just heard this, this too shall soon pass. Something is about to pass over, okay, or something about passing you over. All right, we also got honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I'm seeing a lot of clarity coming in for you guys this week, okay? You could have been in the fog or in the dark about something, but there is clarity that's coming in. It's on the way. We got imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So this is seeing something clearly, okay? What you think, okay? Something about pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to um, your face. I just heard your face. So this is giving me, family, you need to pay attention to your energy this week. Don't be discouraged, okay? Just because you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, don't be discouraged, okay? You got to believe. You got to have faith. And I, I keep hearing if you, if you believe it, you will achieve it. Okay, so there could be a need for you guys to switch your energy up. Okay, something about your signal. Because there is success here. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, and it's going to be some type of growth that's going to take place. And I'm seeing family for a lot of you, you're going to be in a gratitude type of energy. Maybe this is something that you've been wishing and waiting for for a very long time. Um... I just heard, hell yeah, my bills got paid. <laughs> I 
know that's the truth, baby. I don't know who said that, but <laughs> somebody could have been worried about their bills or debt, okay, or like something that they didn't see themselves being able to complete or do. But this is going to happen miraculously or this is like some type of miracle that's going to take place. Yeah, it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Let's see, y'all. Let's let's jump into this energy and see what spirit wants y'all to know. Okay, let's see, spirit. What's the energy around the collective for the next seven days? Truth and clarity. Show me what I need to see, Father God, angels, and spirit guides. Denial, honesty, imagination, success. What's the main theme here? What's the main theme? Oh, wow, y'all. We got the four ones. I didn't take this card because it landed, um, you know, upside down. We got the four of wands, okay? This is talking about stability. This could also be some type of celebration. Um, I'm seeing um, change here. There's some type of change could be happening in your home. Like I said, you could have been worried about your finances, your bills, or debt, or something here. But I feel like everything is going to come through for you yeah um let's let me lay down the rest of these cards what's the um situation here oh yeah it was some type of conflict it was some type of conflict going on here regarding the home um for some of you guys there could have been somebody who was trying to hold back money from you or hold back some type of resources for some of you guys this could have been be people that was knocking at your door because they want their money or yeah some type of conflict here i'm also seeing that somebody could have been living with somebody this could have been causing a lot of conflict well i feel like if if there's somebody who's living with you this person is gonna move or something about get out somebody could be leaving here that was causing a lot of chaos in home but yeah i, I am picking up disruption somebody was causing some type of disruption when it comes to your st stability your happiness Spirit, what is this? What's influencing this? What's going on here? We got the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, y'all, this is a wish fulfillment that's coming in after some type of chaos. Challenge, we got the, knight, the King of Wands coming out. I'll come here. Queen of Cups. Family, I feel like for some of you guys, you've been going through some type of storm here. Like I said, this could be collectors or like people who's been trying to cause conflict in your life, in your home. But I'm picking up this is being removed. Or somebody tried to stop you from um, this victory or this success here, but it's being removed. Spirit, why is the four of wands here for the collective? Chariot, okay. I just heard, ain't no stopping us now. We on the move, okay? Yeah. If something was stopping you, it can't stop you no more. Something is being removed, okay? Yeah, judgment, a decision not been made. Yeah, I'm hearing clarity, resurrection. Um, family, this is victory and success. I, now, I don't, for some of you guys, you could already be experiencing this energy, but I'm hearing at the beginning of the week. For some of you guys, you're going to hear something tomorrow. And this is something you've been waiting for for a very long time. You've been stressing out about this, worrying about this. Um, I'm also hearing it's a timeline, okay? I'm picking up it's urgent. Or this is something that you've been waiting for and you need it. You need it now. Um, you're going to hear something by tomorrow for somebody. You could have been waiting for a few weeks. I'm hearing two weeks, four weeks for some of you. But this, some of you are going to hear um, good news by tomorrow. But it's like people was trying to cause conflict or there was some type of conflict. Spirit, why is this five of wands here for the collective? Yeah, nine, nine of cups. Yeah, I'm hearing slow. Something was slow coming in for you. 
all right but i'm hearing you won okay so this is giving me like you won something here you won a battle um you won some type of conflict but this is victory and success this could have took a while yeah I keep hearing Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Something that could be happening Thursday for some of you too. But this is you guys going toward um, your ships. Something that you've been waiting for for a while. But like I said, it was some type of conflict here. Some of you guys, you've been facing some type of storm. Yeah, we got the Six of Cups here in a reverse. This could be about family. Okay, somebody... Um, you're connected to this could be friends a soulmate somebody could be trying to come towards you somebody for some of you guys there's a person that's trying to come towards you and this person could have denied you in the past but now they want to rebuild with you right now they're going through a lot but this person is about to leave a situation behind because it's like they can no longer fight how they feel about you anymore this person is ready to return back into your life. This is somebody who is going down memory lane, thinking about you a lot at this time. I feel like you might end up hearing from this person this week, but whoever this is, they've been going through a lot, like a lot. It's been a lot of fighting and arguments here. And this could be with family. I'm hearing family members. Um, this could be sisters, brothers, okay? So, uh, somebody could have lost someone here. Because we got the judgment card. We also got the coffin. And it's like these people are waking up. Okay. It's giving me like um, there could be issues going on in a family here. Um, and I'm getting like single out. Somebody could be singling another person out. This is giving me like black sheep of the family. Um, it could be because a person has left everything to one person and there could be other people that's mad about this situation but um this is like you not letting this interfere with you or hold you back yeah i'm hearing you was their favorite this is for somebody very specific you was their favorite or somebody is a favorite here and they're being left everything okay because it's like they, um, whoever this person is, they was there for this person when they was sick, um, when they couldn't get around. Yeah, if this person had problem driving, you could have went and, and ran errands for this person. And I feel like whoever they are, they could have left you in a wheel. I've been picking up a wheel very heavy for the last couple of weeks. But um, like I said, there is a person from your past that's trying to return into your life. This can be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you. They're going through something at this time, but this person is um, starting to be honest with themselves about what they want, who they want. Spear, why is the Nine of Cups here? Show me what I need to see for the collective. Ace of Wands, somebody's coming. Somebody could be coming towards you, family. But I'm also picking up like you're finna go into a different direction. If you've been going through the Eight of Cups type of energy where you've been feeling lack, empty, drained, exhausted, your energy is about to pick up or something is shifting in your life. There's a lot of clarity that's going to come in this week. Uh, whatever this is that's coming towards you, I feel like it's going to put you on the right path. Or this is a path that you was meant to be on, but it could have been some type of delays here. It's like spirit is coming in and cleaning up any type of obstacles that's been holding you back. I'm hearing access granted. Access granted. Hardship. Somebody hardship is over with. Okay. This is struggling, carrying a lot on your shoulders, trying to take care of everything, everyone, trying to be it. 50 million places at one time like something here is finally over with some obstacle is being removed like i said i'm hearing green light okay something is going to be taking place this week family and i really do feel like this is going to make you feel so much better i'm hearing you can breathe again like being able to breathe being able to get shit done 
um, without things standing in your way. We got the challenge as the King of Wands here. There could still be an energy that's trying to stop you because this is coming up as a challenge. Or there could be, like I said, it's a possibility somebody could be trying to come back into your life. But this person is coming up as a challenge, if, especially if they are Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Why, why is this here? Why is the King of Wands here, Spirit? Four Pentacles, okay? Somebody don't want to let you go. They don't want to leave you alone. Somebody could be wanting to hold on to you. Um, somebody could also want what you got. I keep hearing that as well. Um, but I feel like this is the same person or the same energy that could, could have tried to stop you in the first place. Or they wanted your position here. Damn, they go to the damn devil. Whew, we got the devil, Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. This, whoever this is, they don't want to let you go. Okay? Or they don't want to release your funds, your money, or they don't... Something here. Somebody is wanting to hold on to you. And they're ve very adamant about getting you back or holding on to something here. Whoever this is, they want you to work with them. Um, but I feel like it's for their own agenda. Like they got an agenda behind this, why they don't want to let you go. Or it's like, why they don't want to see you move on here. This person could be trying to come in to give you a love offer, but I feel like it's toxic. This is somebody, I just heard struggle love. For a lot of you guys, you don't walk away from this type of energy. Um, but this is what this person brings. And I feel like for many of you guys, you're looking towards the future. You're not really looking back at the past anymore. But this is making this person very furious. It could be making somebody very angry because you're not giving them so much attention that you did in the past. This person is wondering what you're doing, who you're doing it with. Um, something about you being happy. I just heard you forgot about us. So this could be somebody for some of you, you haven't been in communication with this person in a very long time. Now, they could have tried to reach out to you, but for a lot of you guys, you kind of nonchalant, okay? You might not even answer this person's messages, or you probably sent they as an emoji or something, and they look at this as being an insult. Somebody here is very mad, but they're not showing it. They're not showing it. We got heavy Capricorn energy here as well. Heavy Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, whoever this is, they looking back at the past, but you're looking towards the future. Spirit, why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, we got the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, <laughs> um, you might be juggling a decision here this week. Um, especially if you already done found someone new or there could be somebody new that could be coming into your life this week. I feel like there's a past person that's still lingering around or could be still um, reaching out to you or trying to contact you. But there is a decision you guys are going to have to make regarding this King of Wands and uh, King of Pentacles here. Yeah, some type of decision, family. But I just heard, I know what's best for me. Why am I hearing Diamond off of um the players? It's the Players Club when she was like, my own damn daddy don't even know what's best for me. So this is you family realizing that the only person that knows the answer is you. This is you making a decision because you know what's best for you. There could be people trying to tell you, uh, you should go back. You know, y'all was a, a good couple together and blah, blah, this and that. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't see what was going on behind closed doors. Okay, this person broke my heart, took me through shit, had me losing my hair, going crazy. I had to deal with thought thoughts and chicken heads. Yeah, okay, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be putting people in a place too. Because it's like, there's everybody who thinks they know what's best for you, but you know what's best for you. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Um. 
family somebody is also wondering what you got i'm hearing what you got because i'm actually seeing that yeah you are a good loving and caring person but um for some of you guys you're about to be in a ball status okay i'm getting like um you could be a woman but you could also be operating in your masculine energy there could be um some type of income that's going to be coming in towards you i'm seeing a lot of stability a lot of stability that could be coming in in the near future for some of you guys you could have started your own business or this is something you're working toward um and it's like you're trying to figure out who's good on your team like you know who should you have on your team um do you want somebody who is very flighty or you want somebody who's a businessman or somebody who know about business or something like that but i'm here weighing the pros and cons so this is like you guys um not jumping into a contract this is you weighing pros and cons making sure that you're making a good decision for yourself and also for your future somebody could be signing a contract this week or something about contract because i'm seeing papers like legal work paperwork or something like that okay let me see what else spirit why is this two of pentacles here why is this two of pentacles here yeah, you thinking very carefully on this situation. Okay, this is thinking clearly, getting your rest, also feeling rejuvenated, but this is like not jumping. I keep hearing not jumping into something here. Okay, but taking your time. This is going to bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of clarity, but this is you guys taking the time to make the right decision for you. Um, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Some decision that you make this week is going to be a very wise decision. It's what I'm hearing too. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're about to walk away here from a lack of energy, okay? Or dealing with people who, dealing with people who drains you okay or cause conflict in your life it's like you don't have time for that no more yeah um spirit give me another card for the eight of cups temperance this is moving into balance peace prosperity calmness calmer waters okay things could have been very hectic or chaotic for you very scattered i'm picking up scattered energy or feeling pulled um, in different directions, but there's peace and balance that's coming into your life this week. You're walking away from all of this chaotic energy here, family. Yeah. Um, give me one. Okay, we got the death card in the hermit. It's people that's worried about this. Okay, you finna have people very worried, or it's like the same energy you was in, they about to be in. Yeah, it's not over. I'm hearing boomerang effect with a death card in a reverse. Something is about to go back to somebody that could have been sending you this type of energy. Yeah, now they worry. Now they stress. Somebody feel like you're going to leave them out. Or somebody is feeling left out. And it's like they're trying to do whatever they can to make sure they're included or... <laughs> I'm hearing bugaboo, okay? Heavy Scorpio and Virgo energy here. Yeah, Spirit is saying don't let this person or these people um, bug you or worry you because this is your season now. I'm, I'm hearing they season them past. Or maybe this was never supposed to be part of their season. But a lot of them thought that it was, okay? They thought that it was or they thought you were supposed to be a part of their season this time around. But I'm hearing no yeah y'all let me see what's going on here i don't know i'm gonna have to use my days out live deck okay divine holy spirit show me what i need to see for the collective what else do they need to know what's the energy here for the next seven days what do the collective need to know for the next seven days divine holy spirit show me what i need to see truth and clarity what's the energy around the collective 
miss you too, boo. What's the energy around the collective for the next seven days? Okay. We got illusion, polyamorous. I'm picking up heavy illusion here more so than the polyamorous part. Um, there could be somebody who was involved with a lot of women or a lot of men. Um, this person could have created a, an illusion around their own life. Um, yeah, somebody was in denial. Okay, somebody was local out here. They thought that they could have it all and still hold on to you. Yeah, I'm hearing I get back. Something about this person thought that they could get back to you later on after they finished doing what they wanted to do. But this person is an illusionist. Okay, this person lost their damn mind. Um, yeah, somebody thought that they could come back home to you after they had been dealing with a lot of other people here or something. Show me what I need to see. What's going on, Divine Holy Spirit? We also got refused and silent treatment. So a lot of you guys, I feel like you're holding back communication from someone here. Or something about this person felt like if they gave you the silent treatment that you was you was going to come running back. I just heard the devil is a lie. Okay. But for some of you, you're being silent here to some people. Okay. This could be a, a group of people. But I'm definitely picking up one person in particular. It's like you're not telling this person your moves or what's coming towards you or what you're doing. This is somebody who's doing a lot of guessing and pondering right now. Our spirit is definitely telling you to be quiet. Don't say nothing. Spirit, what's, what's this energy the next seven days? What do the collective need to know? This could be somebody who got a lot of friends. Okay, This could be somebody who gossip a lot as well. Yeah, we got evidence and investigators. Somebody could be um, investigated at this time. I'm hearing PI. Somebody could have hired a private investigator. Um, but I'm hearing this person is wondering what you're doing. Okay. Somebody being nosy right now. Okay. Trying to figure out some shit that's going on in your life. You being too quiet. You not really talking. If you do talk, you not like I said, you're not spilling no damn beans. This person knows it's more going on behind the scenes than what you're seeing or what you're telling them. Or like, even if you post things on social media, you're not posting everything. It's what I'm hearing. Somebody want to know what's going on. Somebody could be like um, digging into like medical records or trying to like do a background check on you on a computer. Or somebody could definitely be trying to stalk you here on social media or something like that. But it's because they're trying to figure out what you got going on here. Yeah, we got generation and family, okay? And I, I am picking up, like, for some of you guys, this is regarding your family. This could be your children. Somebody could be looking into a family, okay? Especially if this is regarding a death. I'm hearing unexpected passing, um, somebody is like trying to figure out how you got so much, okay, or how you got this house, this home, how did you make this money, like where did you get it from, um, yeah, because I'm hearing something about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is going to be really nice or really good for you and your family, because I'm seeing some type of upgrade from last year and this year, okay, regarding your home or your family. But I'm definitely hearing also generational wealth. There's something, some type of evidence that's going to be coming in for some of you. Um, I keep hearing a wheel or like this is a deed. Something could end up being deeded to you or some type of inheritance here. And it's like a lot of people are being nosy or snooping around. But the best thing you can do is just be quiet. Okay. Um, Sierra, show me what somebody is also wanting to know if you're being quiet right now, or if you do have somebody new in your life, somebody is wanting to know who you're involved with. Who is this new man sitting at the table? Okay. Or who is this new woman sitting at the table? Like, yeah, I'm hearing a uh, rumor has it. So there could be people, um, 
that see you out somewhere and they could ask this person, hey, you know who such and such dealing with now? I saw her at the store. They was getting all this food and blah, blah, this and that. This person like, hold on, who? Who is she doing? What? With who? <laughs> where? Who? You been where? With who? <laughs> okay. Okay, look, social event and date night. So for some of you guys, like I said, um, this is something that could be coming up, family. Okay, if you haven't been on a date in a while, there could be a date that's going to be coming up or some type of social event. You might think this person ain't watching you, but this person is watching you the whole time, especially if you guys go to the same place. Okay, I don't care who they dating or who they with, they got their eyes on you the whole time. I'm seeing a stalker out here for somebody. Yeah, they want to know who you dealing with. I keep hearing that. For some of you guys, you could be going to a really nice restaurant sometime this week. I'm hearing this weekend, there could be a nice restaurant you go to. But be careful, okay, because for some of you guys, you might end up going with the wrong person. This could be somebody who, who got a lot of women, okay? But I really feel like this could be someone who's also going to be watching you if you're on a date or trying to figure out who you're on a date with, okay? Yeah, we got uh, wanted, dead or alive. This says $15,000 reward. Yeah, I keep hearing somebody wants somebody's money, okay? Somebody feel like they are entitled to some money here. And with $15,000 reward, this is giving me like an inheritance, okay? It's like this person uh, would kill somebody for this, okay? Or this is somebody who um, feel like this should be theirs, okay? Somebody could have a warrant after their arrest, but that's not what I'm really feeling with this. For some of you guys, um, whoever it is you're going to be dating or somebody you could be dating at this time, this person could come with a lot of money. And it's a lot of women or a lot of men that would kill to be with somebody like this. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here too. I keep hearing they want what you have. They want what you have. Yeah, this is somebody who's very dark. They got a very dark spirit. I am not. I just heard TLC Silly Ho. Okay, so this could be a silly ho. I don't know if y'all know that song. But I literally just heard that. This could be somebody who is delusional, okay? Are they in some type of illusion? They feel like whatever is yours is supposed to be there. But I feel like this was granted to you or this is somebody, somebody entrusted you with something. Or um, this is something you just fucking worked hard for, okay? You worked hard for this, or you deserve it, okay? Yeah, we got Gentleman's Club here. <sighs> Spirit is telling me that whoever this person is, like if they did have this type of money, they wouldn't do nothing but blow it, okay? On chicken heads or, you know, I'm hearing on bullshit. Like this is somebody who won't have nothing to show for themselves and for a lot of you guys this is why this person was removed out of your life because i feel like um this is somebody who got the mind of a kid okay or a teenager they don't they go with the first bright shiny thing that comes their way okay i'm seeing big chains and loops and uh name brand shoes and stuff like that it's like this person just blows or go through money where you're the type of person you invest, okay? You might end up investing in a home or um, enhancing your business or putting money back for your children in a trust fund. You know, you're responsible when it comes to abundance coming into your life. Whoever this is, Spirit wants you to keep a lid on it, okay? Because this person only want to come in so they can blow whatever you got. They want you to trust them. I'm here. Somebody wants you to trust them. For some of you guys, you know who this is. We also got children and innocence. Like I said, they like kids. Okay. 
they like kids when it comes to money. Okay. Do you know what my two kids in there would do with a hundred dollars? Okay. They ain't going to do nothing to go buy toys that they're going to break and not play with tomorrow. Okay. That's why whoever this is, spirit wants you to be quiet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this this could be somebody who have kids. This person could have like daughters, but I'm definitely seeing children here. Or this is also somebody who could have um children that they don't know anything about. Because I'm picking up like this is a person that that likes to pick up random women or, or random men or something like that. And they could have other kids that they don't know anything about or they're not telling people about. Okay, yeah. It's like for some of you guys, you don't know anything about these kids. And for a lot of you, I feel like you don't walk away from this person, but this person finna try to sneak back in. Yeah, they're gonna try to sneak back in and act like they are um a, a family man or a family woman now. No, you know. You got evidence, okay? Or you see if you look on this person's social media, you see they haven't changed. They're the same type of person. Spirit, show me what I need to see here. What do the collective need to know for the next seven days? Baby, they don't know how smart you are. Okay? They don't know how intelligent you are. Family, I'm seeing you guys putting two and two together this week. Okay? Solving some type of problem. Some type of riddle. Something here that you was confused about. Or maybe you didn't know anything about it. Um, you a problem solver. You might not know the answer right then, but I bet you by the end of the week, you know the answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is you guys doing some type of research here or like, um, dotting your I's, crossing your T's. Okay. Something that's going to happen for you or is happening for you. You might feel like you're not getting nowhere, but you are, okay? This week is going to be proof. <laughs> what are you sliding under my door, little girl? Show me what I need to see for the collective. This week is going to be proof, okay? Look at that. The end. You don't solve the damn riddle that quick, okay? Look at this. You you don't put two and two together. The end. That's the end, okay? Yeah. Something is going to come to a completion this week that like i said you was confused about or like this is like making sure you got everything you need this could be some type of paperwork okay but um baby you something about you solving a riddle here and i'm hearing access granted now that this is complete or will be complete you got access granted here or like whatever you needed it's about to come through now for some of you guys, you could be finishing a project or like finishing up on like certain things here. This could be regarding a business. Some of you guys, somebody could be opening up their own PI business. Um, something like that too. But I'm hearing this it. Okay. This is like putting something together and now it's finished. Spirit, show me what else. Okay, qualified, you're hired. <laughs> yeah, access granted. Okay, something is about to be granted. For some of you guys, you could be getting a new job here. Um, or you could be hiring people. Like I said, the right people are going to be coming in to help you. I'm hearing some of you guys going to close on a deal. Yeah, um, I'm also, I'm hearing um, teamwork make the dream work. I'm also seeing like a business partner. Um, I'm also hearing bank, something dealing with a bank here as well. For some of you guys, this could be like a business account or you hiring somebody to take care of this for you, like to take care of the business aspects of a, a business, you know. Like the money, the finances, and all of that. Yeah, y'all. Somebody could, was trying to hustle you or will try to hustle you this week. But I'm hearing denied. Okay, this person going to be denied. Let's see, y'all. Mm. 
Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. What do they need to know for the next seven days? Truth and clarity. Show me what I need to see for the collective here for the next seven days. Show me what I need to see for the collective. Family is showing up heavy, y'all, for this week. Some of you could be around a lot of family this week. Or there could be some type of gathering here. Spirit, show me what I need to see. Oh, wait. Hold on, y'all. What's the energy around the collective for the next seven days? Okay, we got community. So, yeah. Okay, you could be getting out in the community. Um, you could be meeting new people in the community. Or like I said, this is giving me like some type of gathering here. What's the energy around the collective next seven days? Some of you guys, you um could be getting back out. Like, say, for instance, you haven't had a job in a while. You could be starting a new job or something here as well. We got to tear down negative and discourage. Some of you, you're not going to be feeling comfortable being around certain people or being around a group of people. Um. It's like these are the people that can smile in your face, but you know that they talk about you behind your back or they're mad at you or something like that as well. I'm here in an uncomfortable setting. That could be for somebody very specific. If you don't feel comfortable around a group of people, you know what you need to do, baby. Leave that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sorry. Or right, if I am around a group of people, as long as you don't say shit to me, I won't say shit to you. But somebody is going to be feeling uncomfortable around a group of people this week. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Okay, y'all, we got government. Um, I just heard government official. For some of you, um, you've been having issues with the government, okay? Um, this could be somebody who's trying to get approved for their disability or, um, I'm hearing social security. Um, this could be a bank. Okay. Like every time you go there, you know, to withdraw or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's always a problem or something here. I'm, I'm getting blocked. Like somebody who's been trying to block you from something. Or it's, they always make excuses here of why they can't do something now. Yeah, I feel like um, something, some obstacles is about to be removed. Yeah, let's see. Spirit, what? Oh. Okay, we got braids or dreads. Okay, somebody could be wearing braids or dreads. Okay, or like you could be around somebody who got braids or dreads. Here, what's the energy around the collective? Oh, we got Saturday. Okay. Something could be taking place Saturday. I just hear, I don't want to be here. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be here or you don't want to be around somebody because you know they negative or it's like, oh, it's like when this person come around you, it feel like I'm hearing spiders crawling on you. It just make you feel like, oh, like... They just get on my damn nerve. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? Something could be taking place Saturday, family. This could be, um, like I said, some type of gathering here. We got multiple streams of income as well. Um, for some of you guys, you could be making multiple streams of income. Or you can get ready for this. I don't know. The government could be involved in some type of way. Or like there is some paperwork that you need to fill out first. Something dealing with paperwork here. Or approval. I'm hearing approval. For some of you, you could have started your own business. And um, for some unknown reason, you're having to be around people that you don't like. And this could be taking place Saturday. Well, these people could be talking shit about what you do for a living or 
excuse me y'all they could be bringing up the old you yeah because i'm hearing the old me is dead and gone it's like they don't even get the chance to know the real you because they they so focused about the old you um but it's like they don't realize that you're actually accelerating in your life and spirits like you ain't got to tell them nothing okay keep quiet about it something about the proof is in the pudding or something is going to be exposed to these people on a saturday it's like why they trying to tear you down i feel like there could be somebody who knows something about you and it's like they're going to be shocked when they find out like no no not her are you serious she used to go to the club and blah, 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 this and that. Like, yeah, when she was 18, like, she's 35 now. This woman done started her own business. You know, it's like, I'm hearing unexpected news. Like, people going to be shocked about some news here. Yeah, Spirit, show me what I need to see. Yeah, Spirit wants you to put yourself first, family. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you'd be so worried about other people, um, how they perceive you, how they look at you. Are you the type of person, um, you try to be there for everybody. You try to accommodate everybody. And Spirit is saying you got to put yourself first, okay? At this time, put yourself first. Do what you feel is best for you, okay? We also got it's hard to look at myself in the mirror, Okay, like I said, for some of you guys, you don't even take time out to like look at yourself in the mirror. You on the go all the time or for some of you guys, you might not be too proud of, of a life that you once lived. But Spirit is saying you're not that person no more. And I took you through those things so you could learn lessons and so you could teach others. So Family Spirit is also saying whatever you went through in your past, it was to teach you, to heal you, to show you so you can show and lead other people, your future generation. Okay, love yourself. Love yourself for who you are. Somebody is also having a hard time looking at themselves in the mirror, family. I really feel like this is not you guys. Now, these could be the people who's trying to tear you down or trying to be negative towards you. It's like they don't have, it's like they try to take all of their insecurities out on you when they really should be pointing the finger at themselves. Yeah, I keep hearing do what's best for you. Do what's best for you and don't be concerned about what other people want you to do. Show me what I need to see. Okay, we got switching up your routine. So, yeah, something changing. Okay. Um, I just heard flex your power. Family, for some of you guys, you're going to be flexing your power this Saturday. Okay, um, this is not being shy or meek and mild. This is you letting your true self out, who you are. Um, yeah, I'm picking up intimidation. There could be some people that's going to be intimidated by you this week. Yeah. Spirit. Yeah, but they're they not used to this. I'm hearing they're not used to you acting like this. Or they're not used to you being in this type of energy. Yeah, but I'm hearing, um, I don't know why I'm hearing show off. Spirit wants you to show off who you are now. Okay, this is not like showing your tail off, but you know how you would act if you was around anybody else. Spirit wants you to be your true authentic self. We also got social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Some of you guys, you can have multiple streams of income that's about to come in, but it's because you're on multiple platforms or this is something that Spirit is wanting for you to do. Uh, Spirit wants you to be careful because the government could be watching you. Okay, I'm hearing something about taxes or something about money here. Um, make sure you're filing your taxes and stuff like that because... Uh, whatever you do right now, this can end up becoming very big. Some of you guys are going to be switching up what you do on social media. Or like, I'm hearing somebody know what you do. This could be somebody very specific. Especially if you're going to be around a group of people. Like I said, they could be talking major shit until they find out like you got a lot of followers or people really do love you or like you. I'm seeing like mouth drop. Okay, something about what you do. 
I just heard what you do, your profession. This could be something that's going to be coming up. Spirit, what else? Okay. Focus on me, myself, and I. Okay. Yeah. Family, a lot of you guys are closed in cycles at this time. Um, You have gained a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. I feel like you're going to be speaking a lot of knowledge or wisdom. Somebody could have a speech that they're going to have to say this week. I'm seeing like a speech or something you wrote. You could be speaking this in front of a group of people. Um, I just heard speak from the heart. I feel, yeah, something about people falling in love with what you say. Yeah, we got survivor against any odds, family. Yeah, it's like somebody or some people was trying to tear you down here. Life could have been trying to tear you down. But baby... Why am I seeing Naked and Afraid? Somebody could watch that or that could be like one of your favorite shows. This for somebody very specific. It's like against any odds, you a survivor. You don't give up, okay? You went through some type of struggle here. And I feel like you came out on the other side unscathed. Okay, you got a story to tell. Somebody got a story to tell? Or this is going to bring in some type of income here as well? Yeah, if only they knew how much you don't went through. It's like they won't want what you have. You know, it's like, yeah, they couldn't even walk in your shoes. Whoever this is, they want what you got, but they can't walk in your shoes. Okay, they couldn't make it. Yeah, we also got a cycle. A cycle have completed. Let the good times roll in. So, yeah, family. I'm telling you, something changing this week. Okay, I'm seeing a boost of energy. I'm seeing assets being granted to someone or for a few of you guys this week. Um, people who try to tear you down, they're about to see the real you. Or people who, who've been comparing you to your past. It's like scratch all that. I ain't even that person no more. Yeah, family. There's a change. I'm hearing change with the wind. That's coming in here. Oh, this one just fell out. Somebody going to be wearing earrings for the first time in a long time. Okay. Or going to some type of dinner or some type of celebration or something here. This week. Here, show me what I need to see. Do some clarity for the collective. Y'all, we got a double-edged sword. It's been a long time since I pulled this trinket. I just heard they could dish it, but they can't take it back. Somebody might try to dish something, but they can't take it back. I'm he also hearing something that is going to bite someone in the ass here, too. Yeah. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who tried to go to war with you or somebody that tried to cut you off or stop you in some type of way. It's like they thought they missed or they thought that something wasn't going to return back to them, but it did. That's what I'm hearing here. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also hearing move, bitch. get out the way, get out the way. Get out the way. I don't know. Y'all could be in traffic. Um, but something is going to get out of your way. And I'm, I'm picking up like forcefully. Something is being moved. Like it don't have a choice but to move. Um, let's see. What is this? Um, it looks like an angel here. This kind of, this looks like an angel that you know maybe it looks like she's been crying or she's been going through a lot um i'm picking up on earth angels that i'm talking to you've been going through a lot um spirit has heard your your cries your tears um you've been going through a lot of pain lately or just feeling exhausted um i'm here and picking you up something about spirit coming in this week to pick you up yeah um you could have lost someone or lost something that was valuable to you. Like I said, you just could have been going through a lot. 
but um there's a change coming there's help coming in this week yeah i'm hearing um people don't believe earth angels get tired too we still human even though um we're spiritually you know we're a spirit but we're still having a, a physical experience so this is like um family for some of you you've been taking on the weight of the world but I'm hearing relief and help is coming in this week. You got assistance. We also got a deer. A deer for me always represent like springtime, the beginning, um, the beginning cycle. I'm hearing renewed. Something about your energy being renewed here. I'm also hearing rebirth. Okay, fresh. This is new. This is giving me like a new cycle. Because when spring come around, for me, that's like the beginning of the year. April is the beginning of the year. I mean, really, to be honest with you, it's not January. It's April. So this is giving me like a new cycle is coming in for you. An old cycle is leaving your life. And family, there is some type of news that's going to be coming in this week. This could be a letter, okay? Because we got like an envelope with a heart. This is an envelope with a heart, okay? So this could be a letter. This could be some type of news, a memo, a check. Some Something is coming in, an invitation. Whatever this is, this is something you've been waiting for or something you've been wanting for a while now. Um, this is going to bring some type of healing in your life. Yeah, some type of luck, okay? Good luck, good fortune, some type of blessing is going to be coming in here. And I feel like it's been long overdue. I'm hearing long overdue. And I keep picking up on the number four. So like I said, this could be, you could have been waiting for this for four years, four months, four weeks. Okay, but um, it's here now. It's here now. Yeah, like this could be a wheel. This could be some legal work, legal papers, something. Something about paper, okay? It's going to be good news on this paper, okay? So, y'all, that's what I got. Y'all, ooh, let me pull my um angel numbers real quick. Y'all know I be done forget. We're going to start off with the blue one. This could represent a Pacific date. It could represent your birthday. Um... A soul path number. This could represent a month. Okay. Take it how it resonates with you. If you're feeling lucky enough, you can play the lottery if you want to. That's up to you, child. Okay. But only take it if it resonates. This could even rep uh, represent an age. Show me what I need to see here for the collective. What do they need to know? Who is this message pertaining to Divine Holy Spirit? Show me what I need to see for the collective. Show me what I need to see for the collective. Okay. We got 57. I think this card done came out before. Somebody could be 57. Or something about the number 12. When you add 5 and 7 together, that's 12. So something could be happening in December. We also got the 19th. Okay, something somebody could have been born on the 19th or um, something could be happening September the 19th. Show me what I need to see. We also got three, 33. Okay, somebody could be 33 or you could be seeing the number 333. Um, yeah, spirit. Okay, we also got 13. Something could be significant about 13. Okay, we got 38. Somebody could be 38. All right, let me pull one more, y'all. Spirit, they came out so fast. 10. Okay, something is over. Okay, it's a completion of something. Um, Because I started to say 1 plus 9 was 10. But this card just literally just flew out. Okay, so family, 
Yeah, I'm seeing an ending here, an ending and a new beginning, a new cycle is taking place this fall or even before fall get get here because it's not literally fall yet, but that's the energy I'm picking up on. Like there is a change that's going to be taking place and I feel like it's going to hit the collective before the fall get here. All right. October. I've been picking up October. And look, at the bottom of the deck, this is September. Okay, between September and October. Something is about to be a wrap. And I feel like it's for the good. It's a good thing. Alright, yeah, y'all. Fam, that's what I got. I hope this resonated for the majority of you guys. Okay, yeah.